even though the weather turns, gets cold and snows, we don't, that doesn't scare us. Um, kids are outside playing sleds, we have snow pants, we have boots galore in all of the buildings. You'll see students walking around throwing some snowballs. It's I've never be been amazing. in a school where you use the phrase boots galore. <laughs> Looking forward to that. <laughs> so as we near the end of 2021, you've been here about six months. What has been your favorite moment thus far? For me, it's clearly when the entire school, from our Montessori to our seniors, gathered in the circle uh, right before we broke for Thanksgiving. And we thought about and talked about the meaning of gratitude, mm -hmm. the philosophy of gratitude, the history of the word. And then Dr. Cornelius, who's our director of diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging, sang a cappella, a beautiful version of what a wonderful world. And you could hear a pin drop. And even though there was complete silence, there was complete togetherness and bonding. And for days after that, people from our kitchen staff to young children to, to our seniors and our faculty just said, how meaningful that moment was for us. Sure. So Lisa, what was your favorite moment of the year so far? My favorite moment was back in October, we had a scholastic author visit us, Clarabel Ortega. Um, I had the pleasure, she was here for two days, and I had the pleasure of going to dinner with her Friday night. And she told me that her experience with our park students during the day was an experience she's never had before with students. She often goes to schools and doesn't really know what to expect and these students impressed her so much because they asked questions that she would expect adults to ask and we're talking third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. So she said, I was just so impressed with the respect that they showed, the kindness, the creativity that they displayed and they were just so inquisitive and that was so amazing and I'm gonna go back to all of my author friends and tell them they have to come to the park school. So that was amazing. And then the next day we actually had a read-in with her and we had families show up, parents and students. And I saw that then, it was a community moment and I'm just always reminded at times like that of how special this community is and how wonderful people here are. They certainly are. So looking ahead to the new year, mm -hmm. which is only a few weeks away. I know, I can't believe it. What are your hopes, dreams, aspirations for Park in the year 2022? Well, I hope that we will continue to grow our enrollment. Um, you will see we have more students every year since 2019, and I hope that we continue in that direction. I know that we have amazing faculty and staff. We have amazing programming here. Um, our arts and sports are coming back from this year last year of not having such things and there's a the pulse here is exciting and I, I just want to see that continue to grow I want to see us be able to have those events and activities back here in the in the short term from January to June let's say 2022 how about you what are your hopes dreams aspirations for a park in the new year well I'm looking forward in the new year to the board and the, and the leadership of the school unveiling a, a new strategic vision for the school that will take us over the next five years that I think will we'll build a, a comprehensive uh, place for children to learn and grow um, and, and be great citizens uh, both today and for tomorrow. Um, but on a personal level, I'm really hoping that the COVID dissipates sure. and that these young people from our three-year-olds to our 18-year-olds get their life back mm -hmm. and um, look forward to their future. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking forward to seeing how they are gonna change this world. Mm. Um, and I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy their show as I get older. Dr. Fromm and I are so grateful for all of you and we wish you a wonderful holiday season. And a happy and healthy new year. <laughs>